Hi, today I want to show you how to replace a specific character in a string without using a string.replace method which is very easily available in c -sharp. So this is part 1 of string manipulation series. Okay, so let's go ahead without wasting time. So let's take an example like given a string is a comma b comma c comma d and we want to replace comma with semicolon without using the string dot replace method of c sharp okay so we know the string objects are immutable means they cannot be changed after they have been created all the string methods and c sharp operators that appears to modify a string returns the result in a new string object means ultimately behind the scene they are using new string object to process the result so you cannot modify easily like just find the comma character in a string and replace it with colon okay so if you will try to do this you will get an error c sharp through c sharp comply compiler 200 and which says property or indexer string cannot be assigned to okay means it is read only and you cannot modify okay so i just want to share one of the way to solve this problem is how can we replace a specific character we will create a program in windows console application i have created a poc for you you will run this program in your application in visual studio and you will get the desired result so what we are doing here we just created a string and a new string to hold the desired result okay just created a for each loop in which we are iterating each character which is available in our string and we are matching if item is comma then in our new string we are concatenating that instead of comma we are using semicolon otherwise we are simply we are adding that character in our new string okay so at the end you will get the desired result so if you have any better way to do this so please share in the comment box and this piece of code is available on my blog and the link of the blog is available in the description of this video i hope you find this video helpful i will be very happy to have your feedback thank you very much